Hey y'all and welcome to Moner's Market. And thank you, Becky. You did a wonderful job on your video today. Now stay tuned because when I show you my video, I will be leaving you a link to hop on over to Miss Connie so that she can show you some more DIYs and you can continue the fun. So today is all about He is Risen Easter Hop. You will have a chance somewhere along this video to win a $150 gift card. So stay tuned. You must watch the whole entire video and you will be given directions somewhere in the video as to how to enter in this giveaway. Now the giveaway will be either $150 Amazon or Visa gift card. It will be your choice as the winner as to how you receive that. So several things are happening here. We are going to be celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior through our crafts. We are going to be inspiring you how to decorate for Easter and maybe go away with some of the bunnies and Easter eggs and candy and things like that. Now, we do celebrate like that in our family, as I will mention a little bit later, but that's not what this particular video is all about. So sit back and enjoy, and let's get started. For DIY number one, I have this wreath. Now, I am actually repurposing this wreath, but I'm going to show you how I made it from the beginning. I started out with this wood blend wreath that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And I also am going to be using some white nautical rope. Now, you can get this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree in white, or you can also get it in the natural color. And you can also paint it any color you want once your wreath is put together. So, the sky is the limit on the color and what you can do to make it. And you can also use this wreath year-round if you want to remove the little thing that I'm going to add on there that makes it part of the He is Risen theme for today. So what I did is I just took two bundles of the nautical rope and I wrapped it around the wreath until I ran out of rope. And I went probably every five or six rounds, I would dab a little piece of hot glue down there. And then I took this eucalyptus swag or garland that I got from the Dollar Tree. I've never seen this before, and I actually haven't seen it since I got these. They only had two the day I got it, and I grabbed both of them. But I'm only going to be using one for this wreath. So I just wrap, wrap, wrap it around that little section that was missing the nautical rope. And then I go through, and I get these little dahlia flowers that I had, and this is the flowers that I used the first time I did this wreath. And I will be using these flowers again with some other flowers. And I'm not going to be using the eggs. That was just there when I did it the first time because I thought I might use it, but I didn't end up using it at all. So what I did is I took the flowers, or I'm sorry, I took the beads that I, and I will leave a link to everything down below too. So if you're wondering where I got it from, just check out my description box. But I took 10 beads and put them on some jute twine to make my little hanger. Once I got all of my beads on my twine, I simply tied it in like a little circle, if you will, with a little bit of the twine hanging or, you know, left over. And then I just wrapped that around the top of my wreath and tied it in a knot and tied it on there. And that was it as far as making the hanger. Now, you can also paint these beads any color you want. You can make them natural wood color, you know, to stain them in the natural wood color. You can paint them different colors to match the colors in your wreath. I mean, again, the sky is the limit to what you can do with your hanger. You also can use ribbon for your hanger or wire for your hanger. There are several things that you can do and you don't have to do it with the beads like I did, but I just happen to like the look that the beads add to it. So once I got the hanger made, then I took 
my wreath apart and started from scratch as far as the flower placement. Now, the little pink or fuchsia, whatever color flowers that you see there, I have had those forever and some flowers that I got out of bouquets that I just recently took out of my bathroom. Now, if you follow my channel and you've been here before, I am in the middle of doing a series called a Vintage Lavender Farmhouse Series. And these are some things that I took out of my bathroom when I was redecorating it for my new lavender theme. So I took the flowers and added them to the wreath. And then I took these little picks that I got from the Dollar Tree. Oh, and this is the um, the thing that I'm going to be adding. But I took those white picks right there that I got from the Dollar Tree and just kind of stuck them in there to add a little bit more to it. And then I just kind of played around with an idea where to put that little cross that says he is risen. And I decided in the end to put it at the very bottom in the middle of the wreath. Once I got that done, I just took a couple of pieces of ribbon in similar colors to the flowers and just made a little simple little bow and glued it down to the bottom of my wreath and then I was done. That was it. That was all there was to make in this and I love the way it turned out and I love the message behind the resurrection that is written on the cross. Now I got this cross I believe at Walmart for like 98 cent. It was pretty cheap and when I seen it I knew I had to get it to use in this collaboration today. So Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about how my repurposed wreath turned out. And these colors that I'm using in this wreath will be my theme for today. So, again, make sure you leave me a message. Let me know what you think about this. Definitely leave me a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to become a subscriber if you're not already. But this is how the wreath turned out. Again, like I said, I love the message behind He is Risen because that truly is what Easter is all about. It's not about the bunnies and the eggs and the candy. And I love all of that and we celebrate with all of that in our family. But the true message and the true meaning is the fact that Jesus not only died on the cross to save us of our sins, but He rose again on that third day. And that's where Easter comes from. Now, DIY number two is probably my favorite of all of my DIYs that I'm doing today. It was very simple and easy to make. Now, I have seen these little blocks on a ton of people's DIY videos, but I've never been able to find them. And I walked into the store just before my surgery the other day and found some and grabbed what was left in the box. Right here, I'm just showing you the stains and the colors that I'm going to be using. And I will link both of them down below in the description box, along with all of the materials that I used that I actually, or that you can actually buy. You know, some of them like the darker pink flowers I had on hand, so you won't find a link to them. But what I did is I took this stain and I just brushed all of these blocks until I got them good and stained. And once I was finished with staining them the darker brown color, then you'll see me go back in and sort of heavily whitewash it with the ivory chalk paint. Now, once I start to whitewash it, you're going to notice that I am horribly out of the camera shot. You will also notice a bandage on my hand and possibly throughout the video some pretty good bruising on my arms. And that is because I was recently out of surgery when I was doing this. I had heart surgery last Wednesday and was on some medication that had me not so focused. <laughs> so that's why I was out of focus on the camera because I really wasn't paying attention to the fact that I was filming. I just kind of got in the zone of crafting and just went for it. 
So I take my ivory chalk paint and like I said, heavily whitewashed over the top of that darker color. And once I had all of my blocks finished painting, then I took my new Cricut Joy that I got for my birthday from my honey. And I have been wanting that Cricut Joy since it came out. And that was my surprise for my husband well, along with dinner and some roses, and he's, oh my God, he's just the most amazing man ever. But anyway, we're talking about this and not him, because I could just go on and on and on about that man of mine. But anyway, I finished getting all of my blocks ready, cut out my wording off my new Cricut Joy, and it simply says, he is risen. Again, that is the theme for today. And I made one letter for each block. And you will see me adding them to the blocks in just a minute. And I just want to reiterate the fact. Oh, I do want to tell you first, though, about this little cross. If you shop at the Dollar Tree like most of us crafters do, then you see this in the crafter square section. And I've actually seen this for quite a while, long before Easter came out. So I got this one a while back because I knew I was going to use it for Easter. I did not at the time know that I was going to be blessed and honored enough to be a part of this collaboration today, but I did know that I wanted to use it in one of my Easter DIYs. So I took that same vintage effects wash and painted it all over this cross. And once you do that, you take, well, you can take, you don't have to take a wash rag or something, a rag, and just kind of go back over it and wipe it all down. And it just leaves the most gorgeous stain on your wood. And I love, love, love it. It was a recommendation from another crafter back a couple of months ago when I first started my channel. And I honestly don't remember who turned me on to it, but it's well worth the buy. And again, I will have a link down in my description section for everything that I'm using that you can still purchase. So I took my cutouts and weeded everything and got it ready to put on my blocks. And then I just started placing the letters one by one on the blocks until it reads, He is Risen. And then I just started gluing my blocks together and I glued Risen side by side, obviously, on the bottom. And then on the top left, I put He and then the space for my cross in the middle. And then over to the right is. And again, because of the medication and being loop-de-loo, I was not 100% in focus for this. So I'm going to apologize one more time for being out of the camera shot. So then I just took this gorgeous bouquet that I got from Walmart for $3 and used it to pick a couple of the flowers off and add to this particular project. Now this bouquet was only $3, like I said, and I used it for every single project that i done for this video. So not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. But I just placed some flowers down there, glued them in place, and that's all I did to this. I did add a little tiny rose bouquet to the cross right there in the middle, and that came in a package from Walmart. I think there was like six of them in there for a $0.99, cent, $1.99, something like that. It wasn't too much. And you'll see me use it on this and my next project. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this and how it turned out. And I'm going to be telling you about that contest coming up really, really soon. If you're still with me, drop me a pink tulip down below in the comments just to let me know that you're still here with me. Now this is DIY number three. And I love the way this turned out. I found this wreath form at the Dollar Tree. And 
was stunned at how big it was. It's literally over two foot tall. And I took some twine that I bought off of Amazon. And again, I will link everything down below of the items that I'm using that you can still purchase. But I took that twine and I just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped it around this cross until I covered almost the entire cross with the exception of the middle piece. And the only reason I didn't cover the middle piece is because I couldn't really figure out a way to get it wrapped around it. But it ended up working out just fine that I didn't cover the middle because once I put my flowers on it, it covered that little bare spot up anyway perfectly. And it gave my flowers a place to kind of set down into. So it, it worked out perfect. So I finished putting the twine on there took some more of the flowers from that gorgeous bouquet and just placed them in the middle of my cross. And after I got the flowers placed, I took some of that same ribbon that I used previously and just made a couple of little strands to hang from the cross. I did not make an actual bow out of it and you'll see what I'm talking about here shortly. But I did want some of the ribbon hanging from the cross. And I'm glad I didn't use a bow because I think it would have taken away from the beauty of the flowers and everything that I was trying to do with this cross. So that could not have been a simpler project. Super, super easy. The hardest thing was getting that twine wrapped around it. And that really was not hard at all. And that is all there was to making this cross. And as we know, the cross symbolizes that Jesus died for us on a cross to save us of our, our sins. I'm sorry, I did not mean to get emotional. But when I think about the sacrifice that he made for me and you, it's hard not to get emotional and be so grateful and so thankful that he laid his life down for us. And on that third day, he was resurrected and rose again. And that's what this whole entire video is about. He is risen. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. But this is DIY number four. And this is the last project that I have for you. And stay tuned because I am going to be telling you about the contest and how to enter it. So what I did is I took this crate and this cross that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and I gave it a coat of that ivory paint and got it ready to put together as like a little flower box sort of deal. I don't even know what to call it, honestly. And I took the cross and I kind of heavily whitewashed it with or distressed it. I call it whitewashed. A lot of people call it distressed. It's all the same. And then I went back with that vintage effects and sort of roughed up the planter. Once I got that done, I took some foam, placed it down in the bottom of my little crate, and I took my cross and added my saying, which again, going with the theme of the whole project of He is Risen, I placed the wording on the cross. I also took one of those little flowers from Walmart that I was telling you about that came six to a pack and placed it at the top just to cover that little hole where the hanger was hanging at. And once I got all of that done, I just started gluing it all into place. And once again, this could not have been an easier project. I did make me a little bow to place on the top of my box too. And then that was it. That is as simple as it gets. This was super easy. Cost me a little over $2 to make. And I just love the way it turned out. I did add these little flowers, wildflowers from the Dollar Tree along with the rest of my flowers there to kind of finish off that look. And that was it. That's all there was to it. And this is how that turned out. And then I am going to show you how everything else all came together and turned out. And once I give you that little look, then I'm going to tell you how to enter 
this contest. So stay tuned. And here is information you've been waiting for. In order to enter this contest, you need to watch every single person's video. You need to like each one of our videos. And you need to follow our instructions. My instructions for you is to leave a comment down below and let me know how you and your family celebrate Easter. Once you do that on all of our videos and follow each person's directions, you will be entered into a drawing for a $150 gift card. Now, that can either be an Amazon gift card or a Visa gift card. It will be your choice as the winner as to how you want to receive that. So, I'm going to leave you a link over to Miss Connie so you can hop on over and watch Miss Connie. If you came from Becky, and you are here specifically from The Hop. Thank you for coming to Monarch's Market. My name is Brenda, and I would love for you to come back. Now, hop on over to Miss Connie, and she will give you further instructions on how to enter The Hop. Happy Easter, and praise God, He is risen. <music>